Questions 172 to 175 refer to the following online chat. Office Express, Customer Service Chat, Ruben Hall, Good Morning, Ms. King. Thanks for contacting Office Express. How can I help you? Marky King, I ordered two USB drives on December 8th. Then I was told that the order would arrive within three business days but I haven't received the package. Ruben Hall, sorry to hear that. Please give me a second while I check. You have the order number, don't you? Marky King, sure. It's 073562. Reuben Hall, okay. Wait a minute. Reuben Hall, Ms. King, our order tracking system records that your package arrived on December 11th. Could you confirm the following delivery address? 243 Rosedale Way, Bradford, West Yorkshire, Marky King. That's right. Reuben Hall, it's likely that your colleague might have received it. Marky King, definitely not. I asked all of them, and over five days have already passed. Reuben Hall, I understand. I'm sorry your purchases seem to be missing. Would you like us to send you a replacement? The package is expected to arrive around December 19th. Marky King, I have to use the USB drives right now. Is it possible to send it by express courier? Reuben Hall, you'd receive it on December 17th by express courier. As your original order was standard delivery, you have to pay additional $10. Marky King, if so, I prefer a full refund. Marky King, yes. Let me return the originally paid amount to your credit card. I apologize for the inconvenience again. 172. Why did Ms. King get in touch with Office Express? A. To report a defect with an item, B. To place a repeat order, C. To ask about a product delivery, D. To change a delivery address, 173. What is suggested about the package? A. It contained a different item. B. It was sent to Ms. King's house. C. The shipping department lost it. D. Nobody knows where it is now. 174. At 11.30 a.m., what does Miss King most likely mean when she writes, over five days have already passed? A. She thinks five days is a short time. B. Her colleagues would have already given her the package. C. She transferred to another department five days ago. D. It will take five days to finish the job she's doing now. 175. When most likely is this chat going on? A. On December 11th, B. On December 15th, C. On December 17th, D. On December 19th.
questions 176 to 180 refer to the following article and email. Article, That Yankee Barbecue Opens in South Deerfield, South Deerfield, November 23rd, Logan Walter, 47, and his wife, Jennifer Mohan, held a soft opening last weekend. The menu includes pulled pork, chicken, brisket and cheese. He said he arrives to work at 3 a.m. and starts his smokers, to get them to the proper temperature. The owner said everything is made fresh in-house and nothing comes out of a can. Employee Jessica Hill, who serves food and handles counter service, said the restaurant has been getting busier each day. She said a lot of workers at Pelican Products Incorporated on North Main Street have been stopping in for lunch. He's got a great product and puts his heart and soul into it. She said. Logan explained he fell in love with food when he was 12, and then his mother could not cook because of back pain. He decided he wanted to work in the restaurant industry after visiting an Italian eatery in his hometown of Chicopee two years later. He discovered his own passion for barbecue in Savannah, Georgia, where he worked to rebuild a sugar refinery as a part-time laborer. As is often the case in the South, there was a barbecue place next door. He started frequenting and never stopped asking questions of the owners. I really learned a lot from those guys, and whenever they'd see me coming, they would also say, here comes that Yankee, he remembered. And that's how I got the name that Yankee's Barbecue. Hill said she expects a busy weekend now that word has gotten out on social media. I'm really happy to be working with them. He and his wife are amazing, absolutely amazing. They've got the drive and the heart and the passion for this, definitely, she said. Barbecue is his life. The restaurant's hours, unless the food is sold out, are 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., Wednesday through Sunday. It is closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. The phone number is 533-272-9347 and its website is tybbq.com. Email, subject, read that Yankee Barbecue opening date, November 27th, dear Logan, thank you for sending me a scan image of the Hampshire Daily article on your store's opening. I feel good to see you accomplish what you've wanted to do. Since I first saw you in a restaurant a long time ago, I knew you had a special talent for cooking. I have seen pictures of food you cooked online and it looks really good and great. You've had a lot of hardships for years. Cameron and I are proud that you came to our restaurant often. We might also go to South Deerfield because of our relative's wedding at the end of the year. I will surely stop by at your new store if so. Sincerely, Rhonda Morris, 176. What is the article about? A. The owner of a new business. B. A local food distributor. C. A recently held opening ceremony. D. The relocation of a business. 177. The word handles in paragraph 2, line 1 of the article is closest in meaning to A. Touches, B. Turns, C. Be in charge of, D. Takes risks in, 178. According to the article, what is suggested about that Yankee barbecue? A. Its kitchen is visible from outside. B. It is located right next to a construction company. C. It is equipped with a variety of machinery. D. It starts operating early in the morning. 179. Why did Ms. Morris send the email? A. To ask for consulting. B. To extend congratulations. C. To schedule a visit. D. To request detailed information. 180. Where most likely did Ms. Morris saw the images of the food? A. At the restaurant in Savannah. B. At the Hampshire Daily. C. At Pelican Products Incorporated, D. At the Yankee Barbecue's website. Toic Market Turkey, Toic Pilsudano, Toic Patubel Yorion, Mumpok Kicho Gangi, Kakpat Shilchom Munjenin, Jetaran Yongsang Dil Chamguaseo, Kunguman Jamun Tekil Hanyamida.